doing I've been doing lousy because the other no not not even two days ago it felt more like two days because in the hospitals it just feels like a long time but my seizures has been so out of control so wet so messed up I have to go to the hospital a lot lately and it's irritating frustrating annoying because you don't get proper sleep you're constantly being bugged nobody leaves you alone and the reason why I went there is because seizures seizures would either stop and then a few minutes later another one would show up or it'll stop for a couple hours and then show up again it was non-stop it was, well, not non-stop. It was off and on like that for almost two days straight. Why? I don't know why. Good question. My cholesterol has been fine. I take my medicine like I'm supposed to. I have a little bit of stress. I lost another warrior. The age of two. His name was Ace, and he was two years old, and he died from leukemia. So, it's been hard on me. Really, really hard. And depressing. And stressful. Which is a good way to, you know, linger anxiety, linger stress and depression, bring on my seizures. I get it. I know. I know. But the fact that I go there and I expect to be treated and helped out, and that's not always the case. You know, what's the point of going to the hospital to hopefully get some kind of treatment to help you out to level out your seizures or stop them but no instead of stopping them and helping me they rather just come in the room look at me waste my time waste my money and just look at me like i'm crazy or something the only person crazy here is you you workers you nurses all you doctors staff okay wait I take that back. There was one nurse that was my nighttime nurse, and she actually was pretty nice to me. She always asked me if I needed water, if I always needed something, yada yada yada. And I wasn't hooked up to no monitor, no no EEG, just heart rate, you know, regular vitals. I was not allowed to get up to use the bathroom. I had to call someone to help me go to the bathroom. Ugh. Hell, at least I wasn't wearing a catheter, so that's a good thing. But, um, just regular vitals, and I was basically in, like, a seizure observation room. You know, I would love to get more video about me going to hospitals and doctor's offices, but sometimes it's just not that simple. And you know, there are some people that can do that. There's some people that are not scared at all to go showing their lives and showing their hospital stay and showing everything in the world about them and everything. But that's not always easy for me. I don't have someone that can record me, record what's going on all the time, you know? And sometimes it's a little hectic and a little overwhelming to sit there and try to record and record the doctor. Record his voice. And you have to edit it. Take out his picture and just make it the voice. You know, it's not always that easy, cheesy, lemon, squeezy. It really ain't. But, uh, you know, because some nurses and some doctors and some staff, they're just not comfortable with it. I mean, I'm pretty sure they're used to that kind of thing. Because they are medical staff, people are always going to be filming, it's just what the world is nowadays, so. But I respect it, and when you're just seizing all the time, and you're just not feeling well, the last thing I want to do is try to record, you know? So. <sighs> Whatever. Whatever. So. I'm finishing up my animation, and I'm going to be doing more animations about 
epilepsy and other things and cancer too. So. Why? Because this is how I am. And I like the film industry. So I'm going to do anything in the film related. Duh. And all my grades that are up in my, um, my college class. I got 15 A's. And 3 B's. And a F. I had the F because I just started in measurements. It was a test to see how much I knew. Before I, you know, start learning everything. So. So it's going to be brought up. I could do as many times as I need to redo the test. It's not that big of a deal in this kind of college class. So it is what it is. I'm going to do what I need to do. Slower, fast paced. As long as I get what I need acknowledgement. And be able to graduate at the end of four years. So that's all that matters really. Alright thanks for watching. I know I've been posting much videos lately. But it's been hectic. So thanks for watching.